What's going on everybody? It's Ricky with Video Homicide bringing you day 13 of the 31 days of horror here at Video Homicide. I just got finished watching a movie that is available to be viewed on YouTube and that is 1981's Lucio Fulci's The Black Cat or also known as Black Cat or El Gato Nero which is a fantastic uh, adaptation of the Edgar Allan Poe source material. Uh, I've, I've seen this, you know, sort of... Um, you know, plot with the cat that the, the Poe story used a few times recently. Most recently would have been uh, Your Vice is a Locked Door and Only I Have a Key, which I believe was Sergio Martino. I, I did a video about that film, so go back and check it out if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen the film, also check that shit out because, you know, I've said it before and you're kind of sensing probably a bit of a theme in the last couple of days, a lot of Italian films. Uh, I think they're some of the best filmmakers in history, especially, you know, like your, your, your heavy hitters, like your Dario Argentos, your Lucio Fulci, Sergio Martino, uh, Mario Bava, Lamberto Bava. There's like, there's a lot of these guys out there that made such good films. Like, that's kind of the thing. Like, there's a lot of stinkers, you know, a lot of like sort of those Italian cannibal ripoffs, or there's like about a million and a half spaghetti westerns made by uh, Italian filmmakers with movies set in the Wild West, of course, but... Uh, the movie I was going to do before I popped on The Black Cat, because it's kind of been on my list for a while. I've been meaning to watch uh, more Fulci stuff that is like, you know, non, um, you know, not so, not well known. But you know what I mean? Like I've seen Gates of Hell trilogy. I've seen Zombie. I've seen uh, New York Ripper. Uh, I'm making my way to some of the other ones. I, I got uh, Lizard and Woman Skin and Don't Torture a Duckling on board, but those will not be a part of... Of 31 days of horror because I'm doing I'm not going to repeat any directors so and like I was like I was about to say the movie I was gonna watch before this flick was uh, a movie I probably mentioned in yesterday's video and that is Suspiria by uh, Dario Argento but that would be a repeat because I just recently watched Deep Red which I loved great Jallo film um, so I, I'm still gonna watch this probably tomorrow excuse me tomorrow night or maybe monday night because monday's the holiday um maybe me and kayla will watch this movie because i've i you know i know it's like witchy and stuff like that it's got like some supernatural shit happening so but uh with this being you know a argento i didn't want to do it so i threw on the black cat uh you know it's like i said it's what's there's another movie recently um oh, okay I don't know if I'll be able to find it at this exact moment, but there's a movie from, I believe, 1934. I have a feeling it's like... Uh, is that it? It's one of those like little shitty, thin-cased movies, but it's, uh, I believe, from 1934. It's called Maniac. So, not to be confused with um, the film with Joe Spinell, or the film with Elijah Wood, even. This is its own thing, but it's uh, it was also called The Black Cat, and it follows the same formula. And that was probably the movie where I'd, where I'd first seen the whole, you know, someone getting bricked in at the end of a film, and then the cat exposes it. Like, one thing about that film compared to this Fulci film, uh, the cat's eyes don't get fucked with, which uh, happens in a lot of the other adaptations. Damn it, I'll never be able to find anything until I fucking alpha beta top, alpha make this alphabetical order because uh like i'm sure you guys remember these shitty like you know like there's south bronx heroes with fucking Mel uh, mario van peebles this movie sucked ass but it's one of those thin case ones so i kept them because these just remind me of my stepdad they remind me of my dad like my actual dad too because these are the ones my dad bought i got a few more peppered throughout and he's the one that bought the maniac one i used to have it all my maniac movies because i had three of them and i kept them all together but when i moved and everything just went haywire like i can find the elijah wood one i see that i see the joe spinell one but the like fuck dude anyways it followed the same kind of story by poe and i just got that edgar Allan poe book not too long ago so i think that uh the black cat might actually be in that book it's a collection but anyways uh, this movie is awesome, okay? It stars Patrick McGee as this old psychic man. And uh, you have this woman who's a photographer. You got the one guy, uh, if you're familiar with the movie Zombie from Lucio Fulci, 
uh, the guy that's owner of the boat, he's in this movie with the same fucking uh, dub. Like, the same guy doing the same voice for the dub, which I think is hilarious. That voice is probably the most used in Italian films ever. But, uh, it's, it's, and, and there's a Scotland Yard fucking guy that comes along. But, uh, it, it's all about this black cat that's causing these murders. And, uh, you got the police trying to get to the bottom of it. You got this photographer chick that's kind of on the fence about, like, you know, con talking with this old psychic man played by Patrick McGee and uh, also becoming the photographer for the police, which is like so out of the out of the blue. He's like, I need you to take photos of these bodies. But uh, I, I was a fan. I was a big fan of that. I thought it, it worked, you know, because they needed to kind of wrap her into these murders and, you know, see certain things. Like she started to notice that the bodies had cat scratches and stuff. And she had went and visited the old psycho and realized that he wasn't that psycho. He was kind of a creep in certain ways. Not so much as a creep as the fucking Scotland Yard guy who was like a totally blatant, like at the one part he's like, yes, he might as well just say, yeah, suck my cock. You know what I mean? But thankfully he doesn't. He puts it about a different way. And fucking gets the chick, which is nuts to me, man. Because he's, like, so, like... Like, she's like, I I'm just about to go to sleep. And he just, like, comes in. He's like, I wish I was waking you up for a different reason. And it's like, dude, come on. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. But um, that's, like, way later on in the film. I actually took notes. Doing my best to take notes. But it's hard. Especially when you're, like, watching a movie. You're into it. And you're, like, trying to remember stuff. But right in the beginning of the film, this guy flies out of a windshield. And uh, that was pretty fucking cool to see. Like, it's... It's, uh... He, like, comes out of the windshield, like, his head just a little bit, uh, and then, because the cat is in the car, and it's trippy because, like, they kind of, they kind of trick you a few times, because this guy, he keeps, like, looking in the back seat, sees the cat, and then he, like, looks at the road, and every time he looks at the road, you're thinking he's gonna be like, ah, but he, it doesn't, he ends up crashing the car and dying, but anyways, uh, there's this couple of kids who are, uh, you know, trying to fool around on this boat, and they end up going into this little boathouse, where there's a, a room that's locked away that also has air conditioning, but no other air source, which is crazy because this is like 1981. So this is about the same year as like Gates of Hell, The Beyond and all that stuff. So this Fulci was busy in the fucking 80s, late 70s, but they go into this little boathouse and of course the cat manages to sneak through the air conditioner duct and like blow the fuse, steal the key so they get stuck in there and they suffocate. You get to see their bodies like... Like, one guy, the guy that uploaded this video, he said, like, this is Fulci Light. And I kind of know what he means when he says that. He, he wrote in the comment, or the bio of the video, like, no eyes getting gouged. Which is weird, because it's the black cat story. But, no eyes getting gouged, no uh, bottle up a vagina. or like all, He's, like, referencing all these things. No guy getting cut up with a saw. I'll, 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 post, I'll post a thing, because you got to read this shit. Um... And then after that happens, there's a scene where there's this old drunken guy who kind of tells the photographer chick like that Patrick McGee's crazy. And uh, one night he's stumbling home from the bar all wasted and he gets chased by the cat and he goes into this room and he locks the door. And of course the cat is able to lock or unlock the door. And it's cool because like you know that the cat's not really, you know, like the cat is like clearly eating something off the end of this lock and it forces it. It's one of those old fashioned numbers where the cat's like right here. And then he like pulled, he's eating the stuff so the weight like makes the lock go off. I, I really like that shit. Uh, and then when that old, when the old drunkard guy finally gets his, gets his uh, death scene, it's awesome because he like drops from this thing. First, first of all, like his hands get all scratches shit and then he drops from this beam and he like gets a total Mortal Kombat style death which is awesome, like these spikes, it's like a jig, like at the bottom, like it's a wood mill kind of thing, but there's a jig at the bottom, you know, where uh, you'd set your pieces of wood or into, you know, put them together or whatever it is that they're doing there, and uh, he gets it through the chest, it's pretty awesome, you don't see much though, that's one thing, that's kind of like the Fulci light syndrome coming in there, um, you know, th this old man, he's also like recording, like uh, he's going to the newly newly used or like not newly used i was gonna say newly rented uh like these fucking graves that have just been filled with bodies and uh he, he fucking puts a microphone there and he asks the shit questions and then he gets these recordings back which is i thought was pretty cool and like on the recordings it's all these like kids and people saying like help like set us free and all that kind of shit and uh so i'm just trying to not like Give you, I'm, I'm doing my best to kind of just talk about my key scenes instead of just trying to tell the whole fucking story of the movie. Um, there's a really good line where the old man says if he was human. Referencing the cat, he says if he was human. 
we'd hang him. And I love that. And I think Patrick McGee's awesome because in this movie, he's not playing like... Okay, so in Clockwork Orange, when he's in Clockwork Orange, he's got like his pre-rape scene and then post-rape scene. So this is post-rape Patrick McGee because he's like kind of out to lunch and he's always got like the like that and they get like a million shots of his fucking eyebrows with his super long eyebrows man just ugh, it's crazy um my phone blocked so one of the things i really thought was cool was the old man he poisons the cat like in the story hangs it and uh he he, he goes to uh like he he like it's weird because he kind of like creeps into this little fucking barn that just so happens to be in this like house like a house that's like full of paintings and stuff and he just fucking goes into this spot it's kind of like an attic i guess you could call it an attic but not it's an attic that's on the same floor as like bedrooms and stuff just fucked but uh once he hangs the cat there's a cool scene where he goes back to the room where the cat lived and you see the silhouette of the cat being hung on the wall and then uh it, it goes like it's cool to see it in action because i never really seen it like this before uh it like burns onto the wall like for, it's almost like a reverse shadow you know like if there was a shadow on a wall and the, there's like a, a gust of like smoke or like flame went by it instead of like just turning the whole wall black it just turned the outline around like the perimeter of the cat black and i really thought that looked cool and then of course the cat's gone from the noose and uh patrick mcgee is like fucking you know going ape shit basically and everyone's kind of going ape shit even the scotland yard guy right after he's done his like total barge in fest he's walking down the street he sees a cat he gets mauled by the cat and then he gets like hypnotized in order to like he walks in front of this fucking car and this old man hits him and he's like he's probably drunk i love like italian movies that supposed to take are supposedly taking place in like england and like scotland and shit like that because i just love the accents for some reason um what else do we got here yeah we <laughs> the cat cheated death like sometimes like because i'm not gonna lie i smoked a little bit of a fucking smoked a little bit of this this called ghost train haze and i watched this movie so i just kind of wrote down random shit like at one point someone must have said this because it's in uh quotation cat cheated death and uh there's a crazy there's a crazy scene where uh the girl goes back to the old man's house, Patrick McGee's house, and she's, like, suspecting him at this point. And uh, she's walking around the house, gets terrorized by the cat, uh, you know, and then at one point, Patrick McGee comes into the play, and then she gets, like, lured into this room, or she kind of just walks into this room freely, and uh, she, Patrick McGee just comes in and just gonks her on the head with this old fucking, like, I don't know if it's a cane or whatever, whatever it is, but it's got, like, a total kind of noise. Oh, COVID. I just put my... Well, I've been home. I washed my hands. But anyways, <laughs> um, it's where she gets knocked out by Patrick McGee. There's when uh, he starts to, like, board her up into the wall. And then, of course, the cops show up. And uh, the cop that was, like, the Scotland Yard guy that got hit by the car, he survived. So he comes back. Here's the cat. And then, you know, they dig the cat, the woman, out of the, out of the wall. And, you know, the last shot was, like, a POV shot of the cat. Uh, walking through his little barn area and then you you know because uh, like he had left out of the noose in the shadow but now the cat is back in the noose and i just really liked it i thought it was a fun little fulci film like i like the guy said fulci light uh no like intestines coming out or anything like that which is a shame because i think if this movie had a little bit more uh special effects and gore to it it would probably be one of his you know classics you know because it follows the same formula like i love gates of hell i love beyond i love uh city of the living dead excuse me house by the cemetery which is this movie right here i haven't watched in a while uh which i should see this is from 81 as well so house by the cemetery is 81 black cats 81 i know that this is 80 gates of hell i'm pretty positive it's 80. if i pull that down i'm afraid someone's gonna fall down same with the beyond there um but anyways it was a good good time to be a Italian horror fan, especially if you love your Fulci. So uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. Leave a 666 in the comments. And uh, it's now 2 o'clock in the morning. i got to host Thanksgiving tomorrow. And uh, if you're in Canada, happy Thanksgiving. If you're not, go fuck yourself. Adios.